what is japanese interpretation what is the correct way know it and be the best this is nihongo max i am ravi let's start what people think about the qualification for being a japanese language interpreter is a degree in japanese language or some years of experience translating japanese or a higher level of jlpt japanese language proficiency test that is all right but even if you have a fluency in the language you can be a japanese language interpreter but not the best so what is the difference let's understand first of all we need to understand what is japanese language interpretation interpretation in simple words mean the verbal translation of a language to another well this thing everyone knows already so this video is not about that we are going to know how those who have become an expert in it have done it and then how you can do it what is required at all see if you are able to start interpreting japanese language or you are in a job or working as a freelancer obviously you have completed japanese language up to a certain level and of course you have cleared the interview rounds also so it is needless to say that you have to first study japanese language hard i mean if i say you to go and learn japanese language first to become an interpreter i am talking the obvious so we are not going to discuss that it is obvious that you have to be very good in japanese and if you want to know about how to learn japanese fast i have put around 70 videos on youtube go and check them and for the promotion part please check nihongomax.com for complete knowledge of japanese language so once you are done with full study of japanese language here is the time i want to explain you about the real interpretation techniques and how to be an expert in it so let's start look how every good interpreter has become good interpreter the only answer is experience you get experience of 5 years you'll be good you get experience of 10 years you'll be the best so get 10 years of experience and that's it for this video all the best bye bye <laughs> of course not my point was to tell you that the only way to become best interpreter is to get experience and there is no shortcut to it however i'll do my best to let you know what actually a person learns in those 10 years of 10 years of experience i will try to cover all those points in this short video so quickly coming to the point number 1 Does interpretation mean just the conversion of words? I still remember in my college days, my teachers told me that suyakwa tanaru kotoba no henkan dewa nakte hanashi no naiyo to kokoro ga aite ni tsutawatta ka douka desu. This means that interpretation is not just the conversion of words, but is actually the conveyance of feelings and the purpose. Let's understand it by an example. There is an expression in Japanese called kuki o yomu now if we translate the words kuki means air and yomu means to read so the meaning becomes to read the air that itself is meaningless because there is no such similar expression used in english or hindi i don't know about the other languages so obviously the interpreter has to change the words sometimes as per the scenario content going on and sometimes even according to the requirements of the client He has to first understand the purpose, circumstances, past background and then the language. Point number 2. This is somewhat contradictory to the first point but actually does not contradict what the teacher said about the conveyance of meaning and feelings. Yes, this point is sometimes you have to. Sometimes you have to convey the matter as it is point to point, word to word. As I said As I said in point number 1 uh, it is important to understand the feelings purpose circumstances past background everything that gives you control over the situation but at the same time you have to remember that you are not the controller but the interpreter you cannot and should not manipulate the things as per your own thinking and uh, it is important to convey happiness intricacy and even anger without even being angry by yourself it sometimes become hard to manage both the things and i have seen many new interpreters becoming nervous and even losing the control things going wrong but in this situation one should remain calm and should try to maintain balance between both these two points 
since the cultural details understanding behaviors styles may differ according to the country or even as per the as per a particular person if the balance is crumbled you have to take it as a part of your job and not let it enter your inside your soul this is the most important balance one gets only after a long experience but the real master quickly understands it and starts performing from the day one point number 3 this is the biggest most powerful and most important point this may not look like related to your interpretation skills but more with your personality but actually personality means confidence confidence means performance and good performance means more success i remember in my first job i used to wonder how fluent and confident my seniors were at the time of interpretation even after an experience of long stay in japan they were humble down to earth helping and understanding caring towards it, each other initially i thought that if you have like hairs and clothes tidy if you have branded watches shoes phones it enhances your personality and therefore your confidence but the behavioral things i got from my seniors and teachers is something that cannot be compared to such things obviously no one is perfect and no one can be but we all can make a continuous effort to come nearer and nearer to this perfection and this is the most powerful most important point to be kept in mind to be successful not only in japanese interpretation or job but in every career even even in your life i hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have liked this video please share it with others thank you so much